falls down or breaks coverage. He's worked awfully hard, changing routes, changing areas, changing angles, and getting open for touchdowns. We knew he'd be part of the game plan in a big way, and it has been in a very big way. Now, well, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. Hamilton, he's got Evans. Pass the 20, 10, and he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans, 72 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. That's an early touchdown grab for last week's NFC Offensive Player of the Week. He was so electric, and they talked about it all week long. Have to try to contain it. And now for him, being able to focus on the task at hand and not just immediately assume that last week it totally carries over, but you got to like the start that he has, showing those great hands that we've seen from him throughout. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that will extend this big lead. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Let's go. The New York set to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. It's Barkley on the counter. MJ Stewart made the tackle from his corner spot. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Manning going to throw. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. He's been almost impossible to bottle up. You see that number 10 on your screen, a big reason why they have the lead. One of the guys is being featured in this game and making sure that he's targeted because they do. He's got a man complete. 36 yards on the play. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage... Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Here's Barber, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Here's a second and seven. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The Bucks on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and goal. Looking to throw. Hamilton. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The legs still there? This has been a tough game. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Barkley on first down, running into a wall as he stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. And Dominican Sue may Makes the tackle. Second and ten. At the <laughs> Throwing on second down. Manning. He's got his man. This is Tate. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Giants on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for ten. This is third and four. Now Manning. And that will be incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. <laughs> when do you go to the backup? Let him... And got his man complete. 30, 10, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. Gay is on for the point after. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Working from the gun, Manning throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Pierre Garçon, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41 to throw again. Manning, and this is going to be incomplete. I think this one offensively, this is one where you just say, let's move on. Let's not even watch the game tapes from this one. Yeah, you might just want to throw it in the trash, act like it was never there in the first place. Yeah, just say we're good. I Looking for Garcon, and it's intercepted. 
Vernon Hargraves with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Back to throw now on second and ten. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The New York set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on. Get it done. And maybe we can look at that. And, and he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. And yeah, this team has been thoroughly four. beaten right from the word go. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Pagona, 60 pitchers. Throwing on first down is Manning. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Manning. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. The intended target, Saquon Barkley. And that'll make it third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Manning, and that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And they're gonna try for the fourth down conversion. Manning and the offense staying put. One final try now for Manning. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you